Logitech uses a lot of terms and buzzwords around their different mouse features. As I've purchased and tested more and more of them, I wanted to help demystify some of those terms by breaking down what each of their advanced scroll types actually means. So if you're shopping for a Logitech mouse and want to know what mag speed, smart shift, smart wheel, or hyper fast scrolling actually means, you've come to the right place. Let's start by looking at where you can see these scroll types. On Logitech's website, go to shop and then under mice, select all mice. Along the left hand bar, you'll see various available filters. One of those is called advanced scroll types. This is what we're talking about today. At this point, every single mouse on Logitech's US website has some sort of scroll wheel. Many of the cheaper mice have basic line by line scroll wheels, which are not technically included on the list for the filter. An example that fits is this very basic M240 mouse. The scroll wheel on this mouse is very simple. It's got tactile bumps as you scroll each line and there's no other bells and whistles. If a mouse that you're considering doesn't have any of these more advanced features in the product description, you'll probably be getting something like this. The next type to discuss is hyper fast scrolling. When you see this label, this indicates that there is a dedicated button right behind the scroll wheel. This allows you to change from a line by line scrolling, like we just saw, to a completely free spinning mode. This is the M705 Marathon mouse. It has a pretty standard line by line scroll, but using this button on top, you can change it to a completely free spinning wheel, giving you access to this super fast or hyper fast scrolling that will just spin and spin and spin. When you're done, you can just hit the button again and it's right back to normal scrolling. In some cases, like with this marathon mouse, this button is actually mechanically changing something internally in the mouse. You can even see the wheel move slightly when pressing on the button. On some of the more advanced wheels, like the one on the MX Master, this button has a similar impact, but it's actually making an electronic change rather than a mechanical one. This is evidenced by the fact that the button engages hyper fast scrolling only when this mouse is powered on. With the power button off, the button doesn't have any impact. Next up is the tilt wheel. Having a tilt wheel allows you to push the scroll wheel to the left or to the right, allowing you to scroll sideways across your screen. This is particularly useful if you work in large spreadsheets, editing software for photos or videos, or in any other particularly wide software. I'm actually surprised that these tilt wheels aren't more prevalent across the lineup as they can be super useful. This is the M720 triathlon mouse. This has a tilt wheel, which can be identified with the small arrows on either side of the wheel. I'm assuming this is done so that you don't go pushing super hard and possibly even breaking wheels that don't support tilt. If your mouse doesn't have tilt and it's something that you find useful, don't fret just yet. Many programs support side scrolling by holding down shift and using your regular scroll wheel. And some mice, like the MX Anywhere for example, even support side scrolling by holding down one of the side buttons and using your regular scroll wheel. So consider all of these options before buying a mouse just because it has a tilt wheel. Outside of the tilt wheel and the other workarounds that we just talked through, there is one other way to scroll sideways and that's the use of a thumb wheel. Now, unfortunately, Logitech only has one mouse in their lineup that has a thumb wheel and it's their most expensive mouse, the MX Master. Now this scroll wheel sits on the side of the mouse and as you'd expect, lets you scroll side to side rather than up and down. It's even better than the tilt wheel as it gives you a lot more flexibility and precision. Plus, you can optionally configure it to perform different functions using the Logi Options Plus program, which is pretty darn cool and can be really useful if you've got specific needs. You could have it scroll side to side when you're in Excel, for example, but then you could control volume with it when you're using Zoom, and you could move between Chrome tabs when you're in Google Chrome. It's a very handy feature indeed. The last two are the big ones, smart wheels and mag speed. 
Smart wheels are prevalent across many of the mid-tier mice that Logitech offers, like the Signature M550 or the Lyft ergonomic mouse. When you use them, you'll experience line-by-line -line tactile scrolling, similar to a very basic scroll wheel. What makes it smart, though, is that it'll adjust your scrolling speed based on how quickly you spin the wheel. So if you scroll more slowly, it'll scroll more slowly. If you spin fast, including fully flicking the wheel, it will go into a free spin mode, which will allow you to breeze down a page way more quickly. Once you start using a more advanced scroll wheel like this, it's pretty tough to go back to the basics. Finally, we have MagSpeed, the best, most high-end and feature-rich scroll wheel that Logitech has created to date. The scroll wheel can be found exclusively on the MX Master and the MX Anywhere mice. It uses some internal electromagnets to dynamically alter the behavior of the scroll wheel in real time. When you slowly scroll, you'll feel small tactile bumps. When you spin the wheel more quickly, the magnets will disengage fully and the wheel becomes completely free spinning. With a bit of practice, this gets you zipping around pages effortlessly. It's essentially like you took the best aspects of the standard wheel, the smart wheel, and the hyper-fast scrolling and jammed them all into one single wheel. It's simply the best experience that I can currently imagine on a mouse wheel. This dynamic switching between magnetic modes on the MagSpeed wheel is also known as Smart Shift. So if you see MagSpeed and Smart Shift showing up as options to filter, as of today, they just mean the exact same thing. Last, and also very much least, as of the time of filming, in that filter list, you'll see an option for USB-C charging as a scroll type. This is just in the wrong place. You can't scroll with your USB-C port, though they are nice to have on your mouse. Hopefully you found this guide helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts or feedback. Consider a like or a subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.